Hi everyone, and um, welcome to um, my review of uh, something uh, which not many people uh, own uh, and not very well known outside of its uh, outside of its uh, Asian, uh, let's say, market. And I'm talking, of course, of uh, our audio. And in this particular case, I'm talking about the uh, Duet, which is a one plus one hybrid okay um, I want to first of all thank Nicholas uh, Tao for um, for being so kind to just to sell me a set uh, I know that it wasn't easy due to you know um, being a relatively new company and uh, to provide me a set with uh, such urgency was something which I want to first of all thank him um, and um, wish him the best of luck in in uh, not only this but his uh, future endeavors in in uh, this field. I understand that oh, there are a few nice things coming our way from him, so let's see what he has in uh, store for us. Anyway, with regards to the duet, which is what uh, we were talking here about, this came to me in a very simple, uh, you know, kind of uh, pick and case, a uh, couple of tips. Uh, and the cable that it brought with it uh, was also a simple simple affair uh, decent enough but simple affair I've actually swapped it out for a 2.5 mil uh, cable from from uh, tri audio um, I had uh, also I have also tried a few other cables uh, an XI NHS graphene cable and so on and so forth but funny enough this was uh, the cable it worked best for me um, as for the IEMs themselves I'm trying to show you better they've got a, an unusual shape um, a relatively long nozzle section as you can see okay um, unusual shape two pin connector and they stick relatively out of my ears at least I mean it's they're not uncomfortable they just stick out there's a vent over there and I don't see any other visible signs of any other vent. Okay, in terms of uh, driver flex or anything of the sort, nothing again worth mentioning. Um, and like I said, in terms of fit, they fit fine to my ears, although a little bit, uh, you know, they, they protrude slightly. Isolation is also half decent. Um, and yeah, I mean, uh, I wouldn't say these are AMs to go running with or something of the sort. But they 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 half decent in that aspect. Um, they are one plus one one plus one hybrid, like I mentioned. Um, the only details I know are that it's a ten millimeter dynamic driver, uh, and uh, the BA I, I I wasn't able to to get that out of him. Um, it's 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 I'm sure it's either it's either twenty nine six eighty nine. Um, by the looks of it and by the way that it crafts uh, and I'm sure, uh, so and so it's not a, a 30095 for sure uh, that's my opinion at least in the way like I said the, in, the, in the apparent way that it crafts I've actually got a graph here of it which I can show you let me just there we go okay so the green line that's how it graphs and the blue line is the Japan melee just for the sake of comparison um, as some of you might might recall uh, with regards to the melee uh, and the only real thing that I can say that I would have liked to be a little bit more due to the, due to the music that I listened to was a little bit more of sparkle up top and um, the duet in that aspect is exactly the same situation although the mids are not as nice uh, as uh, as the melees in terms of their uh, linearity they've got those peaks uh, I don't think that it's that part of the sound so it's not the above 1k that uh, uh, I believe is the, the, the area where a little bit more of, of fine tuning is required uh, in my opinion it's the little bit uh, over boost that there is in the mid bass which kind of can spoil things slightly and make uh, the male vocals too full 
female vocals uh, as well too full and it, and it just it just takes away some of that cleanliness that you would like in my opinion so yeah this is basically the graph um, breaking it down very very quickly um, bass and, 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 and sub bass are very good I mean well, very good they they more than ample let's put it that way the mid bass is slightly pronounced well excessively pronounced uh, and that makes itself felt with regards to then the way it integrates itself into the mid-range so you have that excessive thickness um, which in certain songs and if it's actually instrumentals it's not too bad but in certain songs and with certain singers uh, like for example let me give you an example of what I'm talking about and this is also uh, an improvement that I'm trying to make as well with regards to my review so if if I'm listening to some like Will Downing or if I'm listening to, let's say, for example, um, Will Downing was one of the few examples that came to mind. Or if I'm listening to, I'm just going through my playlist here. Or if I listen to some, sorry, uh, to some Ado. Or if I listen to some, uh, 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 where is this, where is this, come on. Or if I listen to some uh, Greg Reporter. So they they have nice thick warm voices and um, this can sometimes just spoil that thickness. It can make it too too warm, overly warm, um, and it just detracts away from it being tonally correct. So you know tonalities just loses out its 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 re its reality to a certain extent. Uh, if I listen to female vo vo vocals like Anna Cole and Vanessa Fernandez and so on and so forth, as well, that can happen. Nora Jones as well. So I think that's the, the, the one area where it would have been nice that it is a little bit in excess, that it was toned down slightly. Just, just bring it down, just bring it down a few dBs. I mean, nothing too dramatic. Let me show the graph here again. I mean, as you can see, it would just need to come down 4 dBs in the center, basically. So between 100 and 300, bring it down like 4 dBs, and it will almost match the melee, and it will be way more, uh, way more uh, pleasurable. Um, the rest is is it's is then kind of spoiled slightly. By this excessive warmness, but funny, like and funny enough, like I was mentioning, when it comes to to instrumentals, it's actually not too bad. And the peak that you have, or well, the two peaks that you have, which is two point five and and four point five k, um, they are also not very. You don't really notice it in 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 a, in a way that can maybe take away from from the quality of the reproduction. At least again with the stuff that I hear, I didn't really notice it, and then. Again, like I mentioned, as with this case with the melee, up top it just um, there's not much there. So above eight nine k, it just drops off, and and you know it lacks again that slight little bit of sparkle that would have been nice. But overall, uh, it's 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 a it's a it's a pleasant enough listen. I mean, uh, I can't really uh, fault it. I I, I I can't. I mean, that's the reality. Uh, it's not like oh, I stuck them in my ears and I want to get them out. No. Where does it then excel? Where does it then show off what it can do with anything which is EDM and, and rap and pop, that kind of stuff? Very nice. I mean, the, 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 that, that fullness of the bass and, and, and it's a clean bass. It's clean. It's very impactful. It hits you hard. It becomes very nice, very, very pleasurable and it, uh, uh, you know, like I said, all of this, of course, can be resolved with a little bit of EQing, and and it's all very nice if you do it that way. That, that's not ultimately what I try to do, but that's me and others. If I if I am to change something, I prefer to change it physically, changing dust filters, vent filters, 
improving on on the tips and length and thickness and wideness and so on and so forth so i feel that that's a more genuine way of altering things let's put it that way um equalizing it uh, if you don't have it that way then or if you don't have uh, if you're not listening it through a source which allows you to equalize it then you're stuck with what it sounds like and while if you alter it physically then it doesn't matter which source you put it in it's always going to sound that way basically um sound stage or technicalities let's put it that way um they are half decent um I, th- I think that the fact that there's that lack of sparkle up top takes a little bit away from that from that technical aspect of of the earphone um sound stage is decently wide not very deep um and imaging as well is decent uh, i'm not gonna lie and say that there aren't better better things at this price range yes there are there are some uh, um, examples of superior iams uh, in that aspect ms2 from high is an example um another example the 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 zas is more capable in terms of detailed retrieval than this um however and this maybe call it a a pet peeve of mine or i don't know i just like comparing hybrids with hybrids and if it's a one plus one i like comparing it to a one plus one as well if it's a one plus two i like comparing it to a one plus two i don't usually like doing comparisons of hybrids with with uh, single dynamic drivers which is what i have behind me i have the blano 3s i have the melees i have the the yuan lees and, and i have them here because i was actually listening to them to have a basis then to uh, better explain what this is about um this im costs around 60 70 dollars more or less um in terms of other uh, hybrids of one plus two nature at least available out there the only one that really comes to mind which is not uh, too expensive as compared to this is the high this ms2 uh, which if uh, you recall my uh, review on it i i really praised quite nicely the implementation of the d of the of the ba was very well done and it, and it come and it gave us a very nice coherent package with a nice full sound which was a real pleasure to listen to and a, a definite recommendation of mine the l2 from legacy uh, the legacy l2 from theorio sorry that is also a very nice one plus two uh one plus one hybrid uh, although compared to the ms2 it's it's more it's more neutral the ms2 is more it's more fun it's more engaging it, it, it's more versatile i would say uh, the, the l2 is more more laid back you know you're sitting in the sofa listening some music uh, drinking a cup of tea a cup of coffee and just chilling reading your book if you want to uh, while the other one no the other one is more exciting um where does this stand with regards to those two well like i said uh, i have them i could have compared them and i did briefly so but um they're just substantially more expensive and so i left them out of this equation here I ended up doing most of the comparisons with uh, the Blonde and the Mele and the Yuan Li. Although the Yuan Li, again, because of its price, I kind of um, don't want to put it too much in this equation. So I'm going to keep it mainly to the Blonde and to the Mele. Uh, the Blonde, in terms of the mids and and uh, its correctness in terms of tonality and timbre, needs no introduction. So yes it is superior to the duet the blonde definitely uh, the bass doesn't have the impactness of the um, the duet however it is a much more well executed bass in terms of its integration with the rest so in that aspect this again is superior to the duet um, as for the melee the melee suffers from from the same little bit of slight lack of sparkle up top like i would like uh, which the blonde has just got that little bit extra um and although the treble might not be of better quality it has it so um that's it 
the melee in terms of bass, like I said, um, it's 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 a very nice bass. I've mentioned that before. Um, it's it's really the texture, the speed, everything is very nice. Um, in terms of the speed compared to the to the duet, it's very much par on par. Um, like I think, really, it's it's just the excessive mid bass present in the duet that maybe spoils the bass as compared to the melee slightly. So this is more tonally correct than this. The mids here are very well executed. Nothing, nothing really wrong. And like I said, although the the graphically you look at the duet and you think with all those peaks that maybe it just would it, it actually does sound fine. It does. It doesn't sound. Um, it doesn't. Uh, it's just that excessive again, and, and I don't want to say this in a bad way because some people might actually enjoy that, that kind of uh, sound. And, and I, I, for me, it doesn't uh, it doesn't it's not a deal breaker, you know. Um, it's just that excessive warmness in the mid bass that just makes things a little bit more um, overdone sometimes, um, and and that's really the way I uh, uh, well have my 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 only real remark to make it with regards to what i listen to i mean i can just quickly give you an idea i mean for example for example so that you have a better idea uh, in uh, this uh, bossa nawara from donati if you listen to it on the melee or if you listen to it on the blonde or on the yuan li uh, it just sounds very correct the way the drums are, are played and, and very natural um on the duet it just sounds overdone over it's excessive um another one for example uh, elephant by carol dubok um the initial few seconds as well it's got a very nice uh, um, realistic drum you can almost feel the the, the uh, how can i explain you can almost feel the actual skin of the drum okay um very well done on the melee very well done on the melee the blonde not much behind it uh, very well done on the yuan li as well uh, but with less impact than the melee the duet does it well but again excessiveness of the mid mace just makes it sound totally incorrect um will downing get here you just have uh, when he initially starts singing you just hear this in his voice which is very well executed in the blonde and very well executed in the melee and on the yuan li actually the yuan li there is the best of the three and over here you just don't have it because again it just gets slightly muffled as compared to the others so um i'm just you know just giving you a few examples of, of stuff i listen to uh uh, Soul Persona, Analog is another song that I usually like listening to. Jim uh, Tomlinson, so nice, very nice female um, uh, vocal from Stacey Kent. Um, Julian Vaughan, 18th and Vine, very nice song as well, worthwhile listening and a good comparison for many things. Um, Hallelujah from Pentatonix. Um, oh, Melee, fantastic. Yuan Li, <sighs> beautiful. Blonde, beautiful. Tonally, any one of these three is, is just spot on. Here again, that's just the real issue. So I would say that um, uh, the the duet to kind of wrap things up is is more. F it it you, it it finds its its own. It gets into its area or into its zone or into its best capabilities is when you, we are listening to stuff which is more electronic. So EDM and, and you know beautiful. It's it's fun. It's engaging. It's got lots of punch and and that's where it really it shines. Um, by no means am I saying am I in any way trying to say that it's a bad IM? No, no, it's not a bad IM. It's just that it's not an all rounder. It is it's focused and it does very well with regards to that. With regards to other genres, and especially a lot of the stuff that I listen to. I feel that those three are superior and the only reason why I did a hybrid DD comparison here is especially because 
A lot of people know the blonde, they know what it sounds like, what it ca is capable of doing, and that's the reason why it's here. The Yuan Li is one of the, 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 the latest IEMs which has been getting a lot of praise as well because it, it just plays extremely well. And the melee, the same situation as the Yuan Li. It's, 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 a, it's a release from, um, latest release from Triple One uh, with a collaboration from, uh, from um, BGGAR. Um, and um, uh, tuned to his specific taste mainly, so it will play his style of music the best, um, but very, very capable of playing many other types of music, and it does it. Um, I've got, I mean, I've said it from day one, I've got nothing against the, 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 the melee, I've got two, I've got this one, and I've got the other color as well, so if I had anything against it, I wouldn't have bought them. Uh, and uh, yeah, and that's basically it. So uh, I will audio do it. Interesting, I am from a small company. Um, promising. I, th I I really truly believe that they will uh, they will some very interesting products. And with regards to the duet, my only uh, rec rec, if you can pull it that way or uh, put it put it that way is. Just tone down the mid bass slightly. You tone the mid bass down on this slightly, and this thing will just open up in a whole different way. Okay. Anyway, thank you very much for your time, and I hope you enjoy this. All right. Take care. Bye bye.